Welcome to another portal update video. This one's gonna be a little different. I'm just gonna play through the game and show you the footage. So, let's just jump straight into it. The first thing you'll notice is there is an intro cutscene, which really helps make it feel like the original game. And uh, I've built out more of this first room here. You have the sleeping pod, the toilet. Can't flush it yet. Uh, if I'm gonna jump on that. And uh, a little countdown timer. Makes you more patient waiting for the cutscene. <clears throat> it's a long intro cutscene. Especially when you have to test Hello, the game over and over again. again. I usually find ways to skip it if I'm doing that. Oh. We hope your brief detention in the yeah, I need a, it, it skip. <laughs> you can also just play with the radio while you're waiting for Gladys to stop talking. And learning are the Oops. primary goals of all enrichment center activities. Oh. Serious injuries may occur Did I just, for your own oh, safety I wanted, and the safety of I wanted others. that radio. Okay. So now we're free. So one thing that you you may notice is there is subtle lighting on the different faces in the levels. And I'm just doing vertex lighting. So every vertex of the mesh has a different color. And uh, I'm doing that because it's basically free on the Nintendo 64. There's only two vertex formats and you have to pass something in the space where you can pass the color. I was just passing white for all of them before. Might as well be passing a pre-computed color to uh, give a little more variety to the levels. Now that the, the lighting's not perfect, and I might go back and make some adjustments, but it does help a lot to add more variety to the way things look. So there have been comments of, should I be doing light maps? Which a light map is texture information. And you, you can get a lot more detail in the shadows with that. And while it is possible to do that on the Nintendo 64, the downside is you need to copy that texture information into the texture cache for every different face and it's I might experiment with that at some point but for now I'm gonna be happy with the vertex lighting because I get it for free it's just a matter of getting the colors right all right so next you may notice here all right so before, if you took the cube and smashed it on the button a bunch you could eventually uh, crash the game and that's been patched. So this is not very exciting. I'm just smashing a button on a, a box on a button and it's not doing anything interesting. But uh, it used to crash the game and now it doesn't. And it would be very embarrassing if the game crashed right now. But I think we're good. So let's move on. You're so very the well. next thing Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is Just not part of any of that gun. protocol, but is... Alright. I wanted the gun because you may have already noticed there are cameras. You are now in possession and, of the amateur well, science handheld portal you can uh, get rid of them. You can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely There's two more in this safe. level. I gotta go get them. There. I've got three cameras. I just attached them all from the wall. And you can fizzle things now. <laughs> I mean, you've always been able to do the cube. The cube's been done for a while, but I just had to do the same implementation for other objects. So now cameras and the radio, which I tunneled out of the first room. So couldn't show you with the radio, but it does work with the cameras. Oh, and in this next level coming up, there is some really nice vertex lighting because most of the vertex lighting you've seen so far it's just grayscale but this level Please proceed to the gotta get the cameras this Not level here. has let's just go through the portal has a, a place over here <clears throat> where we can see there's a little bit of orange glow and that orange glow is baked into the vertex color of the mesh here and it it's a nice subtle effect. I, I like how it turned out. There's a camera too. 
So the last thing I wanted to show you will be easy to show in this next test chamber. I could have shown you before, but this is the best test chamber, I think, to show it in. So it's because there's a cube in this one and, well, more cameras. Welcome to Get test the cameras. Chamber. Got the cameras. Vital to your success. Do so not testing apparatus. I wanted a, a room where you have a cube and a portal that's not changing. So, as you notice, as I pass the cube through the portal, it's a nice, clean transition. In previous builds of the game, that was not a very clean transition. It would kind of glitch out. And you can actually kind of see where the lighting boundary is, like where the lighting from the other side of the portal is applied, and it's a little darker on that side. Kind of a cool effect. And well, anyway, it's a nice clean transition. So it just the port effect. It's just a very clean, clean effect. So I'm I'm very happy with how that's t turned out. And then the solution was actually pretty straightforward. Um, I'm just drawing the cube twice when it's touching a portal. Once with the cube on one side of the portal, and then once with the cube on the other side of the portal. And that I think that's all of the big changes that I wanted to showcase in this build. Um, I don't know of any Once again, game breaking glitches. I say as the screen goes black, I think that might have been the capture card. Will be entirely on um, your own. Good luck. There's no more major game breaking glitches as far as I know, so this is a pretty stable version of the game. And, uh, it's only going to get better. So that's all, and uh, thank you for watching.